Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. I have already uploaded two videos regarding submission drawing of residential building in which I have discussed requirements and purpose of submission drawing. Also, how to prepare submission drawing with scale. Both the links are given in the description box. In this video, I will show you how to calculate plot area, built up area and how to write area statement and project title block. So please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. So let's get started. So this is the submission drawing. So these are the drawings which I have already prepared. All the links are given in the description box. So this is ground floor plan. This is front elevation. This is first floor plan. This is ground floor front elevation. This is first floor plan. This is multi-story front elevation. This is second, third and fourth floor plan. All floors are same. So this is second, third and fourth floor plan. This is multi-story sectional elevation. This is section and XY. You can see this is the section line, section and XY. This is the multi-story sectional elevation. This is second, third, fourth floor plan and this is section and A, B. This is multi-story sectional elevation, section and A, B. This is section line going through this staircase. So this is staircase sectional elevation. This is site plan. Scale of this plan is 1 inch is equal to 20 feet. This is foundation. This is key plan which is also known as location plan. This is not to scale. This is septic tank. This is soap pit. This is research sat. This is plan of Richard Sapt and this is section of Richard Sapt. So first, so I have already prepared this. This is the north-south direction. I have already prepared this in my previous video. So in this video, I will show you this project title block, how to write this project title block and how to write area statement, statement and how to calculate plot area and built up area. So this is the project title block. This is most important in submission drawing. So here you can see proposed construction of G plus 4 floor. Why it is G plus 4 floor? Because this is ground floor. Then this is first floor. This is second, third and fourth floor. We have ground floor with four floors. You can see here this is ground floor. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor. So G plus 1, 2, 3, 4. So ground floor with four floors we have. So here I have mentioned proposed construction of G plus four floors. Residential building plot of. Here you need to mention applicant name. This is Mr. Anil Patra. Son of Ajit Patra. Over plot number, you have to mention plot number 533. Area 10.79 decimal. You have to mention the area also. You have to mention Khata number, that is 22. Moja, you have to mention all details about the plot. Moja, Santia, you need to. Police station also, you have to mention, that is Jaleshwar number, police station number 35. At post address, this is address Santia Dist Balashwar district. You need to mention now plinth area. You need to mention this is 1550 square feet area. Plinth area now scale also. You need to mention one inch is equal to eight feet. So, what is the scale? I have already discussed in previous video. Please go through the video and this is. Drawn on request means the engineer or architect need to sign here who prepared this drawing. Now here sign of applicant. Owner of this building need to 
sign here. So this is the proposed construction because we need to submit this for submit for approval. So next, come to this area uh, schedule of doors and windows. You have to mention here details about your doors and windows. You have to men mention here. So this is the number. This is doors and this is width and height this is lintel level i show you in detail this is door this is the door the main door size is four feet into seven feet height width is four feet height is seven feet lintel level is seven feet i'll show you here in the drawing you can see here this is the main door this plan in this plan you can see in ground ground floor plan also same this is the main door size is 4 feet and height you will get the height from here from section you can see this is the height seven feet okay seven feet now lintel height is this level this is the lintel level from plinth level to lintel level height is 7 feet. So this is 7 feet lintel level. So door D uh, width is 4 feet, height is 7 feet, lintel level is 7 feet. Now next door D1, this is 3 feet 6 inch, width, height is 7 feet. Now check this is D1, here is D1. So D1 is 3 feet 6 inch height. Okay. Sorry, 3 feet 6 inch width and height is same. Height is same, 7 feet. And lintel level also 7 feet. D2, 2 feet 6 inch width. Height is 7 feet. Let's check here. This is D2. D2 is here too. Here this is 2 feet 6 inch and height is same 7 feet and lintel level also always same 7, 7 feet lintel height. So D2 2 feet 6 inch width height is 7 feet lintel height lintel level is 7 feet. So plinth level to lintel level height is 7 feet. Next come to window this is W. This is 5 feet width, height is 4 feet 6 inch. W1, 3 feet width, height is 4 feet 6 inch. And W2, this is 6 feet width, height is 5 feet. Let's check. W, first W, 5 feet and 4 feet 6 inch. This is W. 5 feet. So height, height of window, all heights of windows are same. Now, W1, 3 feet, height is 4 feet 6 inch. Height of window, you can check here. This is height, here too, here this is 5 feet. This is 6 feet height, W2, 6 feet height and 5 feet, uh, 6 feet width, height is 5 feet, W2. So this is, this window is W2. Let's see, this is W2. Width is, which should be 5 feet, 6 feet, this 6 feet and height is, we have already checked, this is 5 feet. So W2 is 6 feet, 5 feet. Now W1, W1 is 3 feet, 4 feet, 6 inch. Where is W1? 
this is W1. Refit. Height, we can see only elevation and section. And uh, this is W5 feet and 4 feet 6 inch. W. This is the W. 5 feet. And height we can check in elevation. So next. Grill. This is G. 5 feet into 7 feet. So 7 feet height. This is the grill. You can see the grill and ground floor plan. Let's check. This is 5 feet. And height we can check in. Elevation. Or section. So this is grill 7 feet height. Usually door height. Grill height is same as door height which is same as lintel level. Okay. Now this is ventilator. 2 feet width. Height is 1 feet. Here is the ventilator. Width is 2 feet. And height we can check in. Elevation or section. But section line is not going through this ventilator. So we, can, we can't see here. Yes, we can't see here. So, this is doors. Details of doors and windows. Doors and windows. Grill, ventilator. This is all symbols. Door D, D1, D2, W, W1, W2. This is grill. This is ventilator. These are the dimensions. And these are, this is lintel level dimension. Flint level to lintel level height is 7 feet. Next is area statement. So this is plot area. So this plot area. So for area statement we have to calculate plot area and built up area of all floors separately. Okay. This is plot area and built up area of all floors separately we have calculated here. I will show you one by one. This is plot area. So, this is square foot, this is square meter, this is 4698 square feet. So, how to calculate? I will show you here. This is the plot, 54 feet, this side 54 feet, this side 87 feet. So, 54 feet multiply with 87 feet, means 54 feet into 87 feet. So, we will get, this is the square feet. 4698 square feet. So when we convert this to square meter, we will get this 436.4583 square meter. So we need to convert this square feet to square meter. This square feet we need to convert to square meter. This is required. We have to mention, we have to Mention square meter this area in square meter for summation drawing. Next, ground floor built up area. So, this is the ground floor plan. This is 1550 square feet. How we calculated? This side is 31 feet. This is 31 feet. This is 50 feet. So, 31 feet multiply with 50 feet. So, 31 feet into 50 feet. We are getting 1550 square feet. This is the built up ground floor built up area. 1550 square feet. Now we need to convert this to square meter. This is 143.99 square meter. Next, first floor. This is first floor built up area. So first floor also same 1550 square feet. This is 31 into 50. So this is. 1550 square feet. So we need to convert this. Sorry. 1550 square feet. First floor built up area. 1550 square feet. We need to convert this to 
square meter. So this is also 436. This is 436.4583 square meter. So this is uh, this is 436.4582. This is wrong. We need to change it. This this should be 143.99. So let me change this. This is ground floor built up area 1550 square feet. When we convert to square meter, it will, it, it will be 143.99 square meter. Next first floor, second floor, third floor and fourth floor all Areas are same 1550 square feet. So this this uh, when we convert to square meter, it is 143.99 square meter. This is also 143.99 square meter. This is also same and this is also same 143.99 square meter. So this is area statement. So we have to mention it. We have to mention it in square feet, and you have to convert it in square meter. Next specification. We have to specify about the drawing. This is structure, RCC frame structure, earthquake resistance, foundation, column footing, plinth height 2 feet 6 inch, building height 10 feet 6 inch, flooring 1 inch thick marble flooring over 4 inch thick PCC, plain cement concrete 1 is 2 ratio is 1 is 2, 4 is 2, 8, slab, beam and lintel all RCC frame structure M20 grade concrete so like this you can specify all detailed specifications here and this is north south direction so these are the this is north south direction so hope you understand this is the project title block you have to mention here this is details doors and windows this is area statement. This is the specification, north south direction. So, these are the basic requirements for submission drawing. You can also provide FSI area, parking area, calculate FSI area and put it in area statement, parking area and put it in area statement. I will provide another video in which I will show you how to calculate FSI area and parking area. So like this, this is the complete submission drawing. So like this, you can prepare any kind of submission drawing. So hope you like this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.